Now let's take a look at marginal cost. Marginal cost is the additional cost associated with producing one more unit. Since fixed cost does not change with the production of more tote bags, only variable cost changes, we simply look at the change in total variable cost for a change in the number of units produced. So when we go from producing zero units to eight units, our total variable cost increases from 0 to 100. To calculate our marginal cost then, we look at the change in total variable cost, 100 divided by 0, 100 minus 0, divided by the change in total product, which is 8 minus 0. We get a marginal cost of 12.5. To get the next marginal cost, we look at the change in total variable cost. So it went from 100 to 200, a change of 100. And we look at the change in output. Well, output went from 8 to 20. So we do 20 minus 8. We get a marginal cost of 8.33. Again, we can find the marginal cost, change in total variable cost, 300 minus 200 divided by the change in total product, which in this case is 45 minus 20. And we can calculate the marginal cost for all the scenarios. So let's graph the marginal cost and see what's going on. We will graph marginal product on the same graph that we graphed average total cost, average variable cost, and average fixed cost. When the total product produced was 8, the marginal cost was 1250. When 20 units were produced, the marginal cost was 8.33. When 45 units were produced, the marginal cost was 4. When 75 units were produced, the marginal cost was 3.33. When 100 units were produced, the marginal cost was 4. When 120 units were produced, the marginal cost was 5. When 130 units were produced, the marginal cost was 10. And when 135 units were produced, the marginal cost was 20. We can connect these points to get our marginal cost curve. Notice that the marginal cost curve is initially decreasing, and then after it reaches a minimum point, the marginal cost curve increases. The marginal cost curve initially decreases because marginal productivity is increasing. And we can see that on the table. Marginal product initially increases and at the same time marginal cost is falling. As our workers become more productive because of divisions of labor, the additional cost of making one more good falls. But eventually we start to see diminishing returns. Our marginal product begins to fall. When our marginal product begins to fall, our marginal cost, that is the cost of making one more good, increases. So our marginal cost falls because marginal product is increasing. Our marginal cost begins to increase because marginal product begins to fall. The marginal cost curve intersects average variable cost and average total cost at their minimums. This is because the average is affected by the marginal. 
when the marginal is below the average, whether it's average variable cost or average total cost, it pulls the average down. When the marginal cost is above the average, it pulls the average up. So we can see the marginal cost intersects the average variable cost at its minimum, and marginal cost intersects average total cost at its minimum.